So this is the setup we'll be using to demonstrate displaying NDI sources on a Stream Deck. So we have three cameras available, one in the top right, just up there, that will be called Home 30X. There's a Mevo Start here, just in the centre now, and up at the top left of my main monitor, there's another Minaray camera this time. So we've got a PTZ Optics on the top right, a Mevo Start and a Minaray. And then the actual Stream Decks are down there with a mount so that I can record them later on. It's all a little bit silly. So I'm just going to start up the application now. So this is the WPF part of the application. I'm actually showing it on my second monitor so that it's at 1920 by 1080 as well. And the scale is such that it's easier to see. Uh, normally it would be more sensible in terms of the window font being the same size as the main font. However, we can see that we've got a Stream Deck Rev 2, which has five by three buttons and a Stream Deck XL, which has eight by four buttons. And it's found the three cameras that I mentioned just now, the PTZ Optics Home 30X, the Mevo Start, and this NDIHX Minaray uh, is another 30 times optical zoom camera. So when we hit start, it's now going to start asking NDI to give us some frames. And now that we've got some frames, we can see what the sizes are. They're all 1920 by 1080, and they're all giving about 30 frames a second. Uh, the variation here is more due to my software, I'm sure, than, than NDI. It's just checking a few times a second how many frames it had, has displayed since the last time. So now that we can see the application, let's see what we can see on the Stream Decks. Okay, so here are the two Stream Decks, the XL on the left-hand side and the Rev2, just 5x3 on the right-hand side. And you can see that we have three different thumbnails on each one of them. So that's representing the three different cameras here. And I can select any one of them and that fills the rest of the view and they can be independent. And I can wave and everything happens and they are receiving frames at 30 frames a second. I don't know how fast the Stream Decks can actually capture um, this much video information, uh, bearing in mind that each of these buttons, the poor Stream Deck SDK is having to re-encode all of that as JPEGs from the raw data that I'm giving. So if we think we've got uh, in the full frames, we've got seven by four, so that's 28 plus four by three, so 40 buttons, each encoding a JPEG separately for each frame and 30 frames a second. It gets kind of silly, really. Uh, however, it looks pretty smooth to me. Um, again, I can wave. I'm pointing at the wrong camera to wave at. If I point at that one, I can wave and it's reasonably, reasonably smooth. Um, and frankly, it's a miracle that it all works. But the power of modern technology, eh?